the ritual of the Stations of the Cross began as part of the pilgrimage to Jerusalem for ancient Christians during Holy Week. In fact, this literal journey through Jerusalem to the place of the skull atop Golgotha continues to be a valued tradition called the Via Dolorosa. Traveling these places in a remembering state of mind continues to be a transformative and heartwarming experience for so many people. Pilgrimage has been an important aspect of nearly every religious tradition, and this continues to be true for Christianity, even to the snarky form of Methodism that we celebrate here at Christ Church. It doesn't matter if it is a pilgrimage to Jerusalem or over to Methodist Farm to annual conference, or even to that familiar walk to the computer in order to join worship virtually. Getting up and going continues to be an important aspect of faith. As with all things through history, what getting up and going to do the Stations of the Cross looks like has been drastically changing. For centuries, this practice meant going to Jerusalem, and then it meant going to a church or monastery connected to the Order of the Franciscans. And slowly, it permeated into more varied contexts. For the past few years, this pilgrimage has been taking place increasingly virtually. I pray that you will join me through this journey, remembering these last few hours of Jesus being fully human. This is an abbreviated liturgy that I have borrowed from our Episcopal friends, and I hope this journey will be a welcomed pause to reflect, reconsider, and to reframe our context so that we may find much more awe on Easter morning. So let us journey together through these 14 Stations of the Cross. Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers, and the people. He said to them, You brought this man before me as one who was misleading the people. I have questioned him in your presence and found nothing in this man's conduct that provides a legal basis for the charges you have brought against him. Neither did Herod, because Herod returned him to us. He's done nothing that deserves death. Therefore, I'll have him whipped and then let him go. But with one voice, the people shouted, Away with this man! Release Barabbas to us! Barabbas had been thrown into prison because of a riot that had occurred in the city and for murder. Pilate addressed them again because he wanted to release Jesus. They kept shouting out, Crucify him! Crucify him! For the third time, Pilate said to them, Why? What has he done wrong? I found no legal basis for the death penalty in his case. Therefore, I will have him whipped and let him go. But they were adamant, shouting their demand that Jesus be crucified. Their voices won out. Pilate issued his decision to grant their request. He released the one they asked for who had been thrown into prison because of riot and murder. But he handed Jesus over to their will. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus went out, bearing his own cross, to the place they called the skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. Like a lamb, he was led to the slaughter. And like a sheep that before its shearers is mute, so he opens not his mouth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not count equally with God a thing to be grasped, 
but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. To what I can, I liken to you. To what I can, I compare to you. O daughter of Jerusalem, what likeness can I use to comfort you? O daughter of Zion, for vast as the sea is your ruin, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of mourning shall be ended. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. As they led Jesus away, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, who was coming in from the country and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We have seen him without beauty or majesty, with no looks to attract our eyes. He was despised and rejected by man a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. His appearance was so marred, beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of the children of men. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that made us whole, and with his stripes we are healed. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, he was afflicted, yet he opens not his mouth. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. There followed after Jesus a great multitude of people, and among them were the women who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I am the man who has seen affliction under the rod of his wrath. He has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. He has besieged me and developed me with bitterness and tribulation. He has made me dwell in the darkness like the dead of long ago. 
Though I call and cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. Remember, O oh Lord, my affliction and bitterness, the wormwood and gall. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. When they came to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And they divided his garments among them by casting lots. This was to fulfill what scripture says. They divided my garments among them. They casted lots for my clothing. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. When they came to the place which is called the skull, there they crucified him. And with him they crucified two criminals, one on the right, the other on the left, and Jesus between them. And the scripture was fulfilled which says, he was numbered with the transgressors. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing together, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And then crying with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And he bowed his head and handed over his spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. All you who pass by, behold and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow. My eyes are spent with weeping. My soul is in tumult. My heart is poured out in grief because of the downfall of my people. Do not call me Naomi, which means pleasant. Call me Mara, which means bitter. For the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also traveling among the disciples. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him, and Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Savior of the world, by your cross, your love, and your grace, you have redeemed us. Save us. Help us. We humbly beseech you, O Lord. 